Hello and welcome back to the Southampton FM series. Now in the last episode we bottled everything and we had it all to play for and we lost everything. We won 3-1 in the second league against Ipswich in the playoffs after we lost 1-0 in the first league. We then had the FA Cup final where we lost 3-2 to Manchester City. And then we got to the player final against Sunderland. We took an early lead and then bottled it because we can't shoot for shit. And I was fuming. I was fuming. But now we have to switch focus on to the next season. This episode will most likely be transfers only. I'm planning on doing a lot of shit. It's the first of July. We've got a few signings in. We've got Harwood Ballers on a permanent. Downs on a permanent. A couple of other players. Che Adams got sold for 30 mil. Somehow that happened. Um, but there's more players I want to sell. More players to sign, and let's just bloody jump into it. So we have got an offer accepted for De Hood. Total of 7 mil. Yeah, I thought, like, for a centre mid option, he can play defensive mid as well, but he's just a very good player, and he's on sale, so I thought, fuck it, we'll try. I mean, he's wanted by clubs bigger than us, so we'll just see what happens. All right, it's happened. Balakotche, as expected, probably doesn't want to stay. I'll give you my window if we get a fee. Yep. So how much do you want? 73. Brother, 75. I mean, to be fair, I'm not against selling Balakot chat. We'll, we'll chuck him, we'll offer him out for 75, just see if there's any sort of suitors. But at the end of the day, he's probably going to stay now. All right, we've got an offer accepted for a big pool, 10 mil. We'll try and bump it up a little bit, uh, offer him out. But Fiorentina, I mean, they may have the big, the big boy. So apparently we're playing a testimonial. Jack Stevens, um, we'll pay tribute to Jack Stevens. Uh, now his 13th year with the Saints, having played 161 games. I mean, okay. <laughs> sure. So I've had our first offers to Bella Kotchap. They are very underwhelming. Obviously, we want probably 50 to 60 mil would be my minimum if we are going to sell them. Uh, Real Madrid's come in. They're not going to offer any more than probably, what, 40 probably, I'd say. 38. It's just not enough, lads. Uh, Everton with an embarrassing offer. United with an even more. 12 mil. Yeah, get off. Tottenham 26. Tottenham's not going to pay shit, man. Like, all these offers are ass. At the end of the day, Balakotcha's got like three years on his contract. Um, I've made a promise with him that I will sell him if they pay 75 mil, which they're not going to do. And if they do get a rat, even if they get 60 mil, I'll probably accept it. But I just don't see them making that offer at the moment, to be honest. And Terry Small's leaving. 10.5 mil. And then it rises to 16, potentially. I mean, what the fuck is Brentford doing? I don't know, but see you later. Why would Terry Small leaving cause concern? We don't need him. Ah, uh, Dehoud has rejected us, which makes sense. I didn't expect him to sign. As soon as I offered, classic FM, as soon as I offered, everyone else did. There was Sporting, there was like a few Bundesliga clubs. We could have got him if I had offered earlier, but I hesitated, so that's on me. It's not the end of the world. He would have been a good squad player, but it is what it is. And I have offered this guy uh, a left back. Um, he's the new starting left back that I've identified. So I'm looking to sell Manning. Uh, Perot as well, most likely, because Larios has a lot of potential and he was good last season. So him and Larios just want to be our two left backs. I mean, he's available for 7 mil, so I thought, I mean, he looks pretty good. The scouts really want me to sign him, so I might as well. He's also a very consistent performer, which is huge. Everton made Bella Kotchap deal 69 mil, but at the end of the day, it's a lot of installments. And if I'm going to sell Bella Kotchap, I want a bit, I want at least, if say it was a 60 mil total, I want at least 40 mil to be up front. Nah, it's not 75, so he'll be happy to stay. Okay, Bednarak, 34 million. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. He said he has no interest joining, so he may not join. But I really hate it. When they've offered 23, I've gone, oh, check it up to 34, because I'm expecting it to be around 30 mil is what they're paying. They just accept it straight away. I'm thinking, I could have gone 40 mil. But it is what it is. 34 for Benderak, I would not mind. It's better than him leaving for a free at the end of the season. It's simple as that. Shay Charles wants a new contract. Man, what the fuck? You don't deserve one, man. But it's fine. I do want to keep him this year. I do want him to be the backup defensive mid this season. Um, obviously, we're going to have a lot of games, so he's going to get a lot of game time as well. All right, Paul is left to Fiorentina. I did try and sign Anthony Martial on a free, but he's decided to go to bloody Saudi, I think that is. Yeah, Saudi. He, he, yeah, I mean, fair enough, whatever. Even though I was paying him more wage, but that's what it is. All right, so I've accepted an offer from Al Madea for um, Perot for 6.5. There's just been no interest in Perot, so I've just gone, fuck it. 
he ba that that transfer basically covers the new left back anyway, so that's fine. And I got a deal done for Joe Rebo as well. Eight mil for I didn't want to risk he's literally no one's offered for Joe Rebo. Um so I didn't want to risk them sort of running away. So I did up it a little bit, but I probably could have asked for more, but that's fine. Joe Rebo's gone as well. Thank God for that. Shay Charles has signed his new contract. Whoop whoop. All right, we have signed the left back. Um, it is moving slow, man. Not much is happening. There's not that many people I want to sign. But yeah, the left backs aren't happy with that. Manning and stuff have got to go. Obviously, we're waiting on Perot to sail. But yeah, no one really wants our players. Though. Oh, I'm happy here. Oh, man, man, man. Manning, you're fucking leaving. I don't care, mud. Get the fuck out of the club. You were shit. I mean, you, you, you did score some important penalties, sure. But in reality, you're shit. We're obviously massive favourites for the league. Leicester in second. Um, that's sort of expect... Oh, Portsmouth have got promoted. Okay. We've got a derby coming up this season. Um, obviously, we are hot favourites, as we should be. Um, we should be strengthening the club more as well as we get through this window. All right. Benderak has left to uh, Sheffield United for $34 million. We need another centre-back. Uh, they've offered for Jack Steve. I'm not interested in selling Jack Stevens, to be honest. I mean... I'm, I'm very happy with him staying. I mean, no one's going to offer Balakotchap 75 mil, so I'm sort of accepting that Balakotchap is going to be with us this season. We've got some really, really good players this year. And there you go. Perot has left the club. He's moved to uh, Almeria in Spain. It is a very... I expected a lot of players to leave a lot quicker than they have. It sort of left us in a little bit of a weird area. All right, we've got a 13 million offer from Granada to Suli. I mean, Suli just, I want him gone. I mean, I do not see the purpose of him this season. We've got Saramento on loan. Adozi was excellent last season. There is no need for him. We've got Omoa Mayo as a third choice if we did need that sort of cover um, for an injury or something. Not bloody needed. That's half. Um, when we lost against Sunderland, I said they're all shit. He cried about it, so. All right, we've got a 16 mil offer for Suli now. Sweet as. That's awesome. Hoiberg's moved to Ajax. We get 10% of that. We got a couple hundred thousand. Nice. All right. Aribo has left to Cannes in France. Another player gone. We're slowly trimming down the squad. We did sign a lot of players early on. But don't you fear. We're not done in the market. We need some more players. No way, bro. Ah, you just signed a contract, Walker Peters. No, would require convincing to stay. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we fucking go. They play the position. I don't think you guys will dispute that. So it's great to see Uh, what we stay? I want to play the Premier League. If you guarantee that, if we can get Brother, be happy. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So he's going to stay. Sweet as. Sweet as. Because I mean, fuck, if I don't get promoted, I deserve to be sacked. Genuinely sacked. All right. Suleiman has left. He's left for 16 million to Linz in France. He's gone back to France. Uh, he just wasn't worth keeping. I mean, he just, he's not going to play that much this season. I've not been impressed at all with him uh, last season. We've got Saramento in at the left wing to be, be back up for a dozy. Aboa Mayu provided more than Sulemana, so. And we've got some loans because uh, I was thinking we have a real, like, a real amount of games this season. And I have basically the starting 11 and, and, and good backups with everyone. But I was thinking I am going to need more than that, right? Um, so I just thought, fuck it. I'll just loan in some good youngsters from good clubs. So we got... Charlie Patino, who's, you know, two and a half star centre mid who can just do a role if needed. He's on squad player. We can loan him in for not that much, like 475k. I mean, we've got a fucking transfer of 85 mil. I don't even know it's that high. And the thing is, like, I, I'm not afraid to spend the money, but I'm afraid to spend the money on people that I don't go, I want you, you know? I don't want to spend 20 mil on a guy that's like, he's going to improve the team, I guess. Like, I'll spend 20 mil on a guy or 30 mil on a guy like, yeah. Give me that guy right now. Um, so we're getting uh, Patino as a um, center mid cover. We're getting Doyle as center, mid, uh, uh, center back cover. Sorry, he's going to be fourth choice because really we, there's no options. If I'm being honest, there is no options out there at the moment. That really, it's because we're on the prem. That's basically why. Like a lot of the players that are looking and go, oh, I could, I could want him. They'd only want five, ten mil, but they won't join us because we're on the prem. So. It's made a little bit difficult, but these guys are just going to help with squad depth. All right, and we're actually going to sign um, Fofana on loan as well, uh, just as a squad player, because obviously we've got Mara. Ross Stewart, I've had a look at his stats. I don't think he's going to have much of an impact this season. Uh, maybe it's like, because he's a target man, a different type of striker, maybe. And then we've got Dom Ballard, who's going to get, obviously, some minutes this season. And with those three, 
I'm not confident about how many goals he's going to score. Obviously, Mara scored a good amount last season, but really wasn't um, like someone you can rely on. So I'm going to load in Fofana. It's, again, a squad player. Who cares, right? Who cares? He's got a bit of wage, but we have so much money to chuck around. It doesn't really matter. I mean, he's a good bloody player as well. I mean, look at these stats. Like, he's fast. He can get him behind. Like, he's going to be a good player for us. And what's key for me is to make them squad players, not like regular start important players, because then they're just going to get upset and want to fuck off for... Um, yuck! Manning, I will slap you! Oh my god, I've tried for fucking weeks to get you an offer, and you've rejected it. Fuck, how the fuck? I've, I've done so much to get you to fuck off. And all you do is piss me off, Manning. Yeah, bring Granada in again, man. Fuck, just... Just fuck off, please. And we're also loaning in uh, Kwanzaa from Liverpool. Again, just as another player to sort of have when needed. Because um, four centre-backs is fine, right? Four centre-backs for a whole season is fine. But if one gets injured, you get three. Shit. Now you're going to have games where there's one not fit, right? Um, so we need five. I mean, if we genuinely need six, I'll go to the Youth Academy. But these guys are just solely to just fill the void when needed. Stuart Armstrong's brought up an issue. He feels he should be starting more games. We haven't even started the season yet, Stuart. And he's already complaining about game time. You played 34 last year. I mean, that's pretty good. What is he on for? Rika Star. I'm just going to fucking change it to squad, you piece of shit. Fuck yeah, you bitch. Like, Jesus Christ. Ah, Steven. Stevens, can you resolve this issue? It never works. Yeah, classic. Never fucking works. Bro, like, the season's not started. I'm not starting enough games to be able to compete for a regular spot and my career is stagnating. Motherfucker, we haven't played a game. Oh my god, this guy. Shut the fuck up! Oh, now he wants to leave. Your contract isn't running out, you fucking idiot. I gave you a new one. Ugh. Whatever, whatever. Just fucking put my head through the wall. What the fuck? What is wrong with you, Armstrong? Jesus Christ. All right, we are actually going to play a game in this episode because I don't actually think much has happened um, as I'm recording this. I don't think there's much going on. So this is the team to kick off the season. It is basically the team from last year, and that's what I was focused on this season. I don't want to wipe away all the players we had last season. I want to improve the squad itself. So most of the players who have signed are on the bench or, or in the reserves, but the team is Gav, Walker Peters, Kotchap, Harwood, uh, Larios, Flindown, Smallbone, Alcaraz, Adam Armstrong, Adozi, and Mara. On the bench, Don Ballard's there. We've got Lundstrom. We've got Saramento. Stuart Armstrong's on the bench. Reba, Shea Charles, Jack Stevens, Bree, and Liz. So we have, we have a ton of firepower. We've still got all these players in the reserves as well, just waiting to get a chance. So we've got a very strong team, very strong squad. They start off the season strongly against Ruben Sellers' is Reading. They got promoted. Ruben Sellers, the gaffer. I can't wait to play him. And Nathan Jones is the manager of Lincoln. Um, I think that's just happened. Just seeing Ruben Sellers reminded me that this guy exists. Um, so we'll see how he does. He's managed 11 games, 54%. Uh, Lincoln uh, in the championship. Nathan Jones. We've got to play Ruben Sellers, Nathan Jones, and Portsmouth. I'm bloody happy we stayed down. Oh, it's a good ball. It's a chance for reading. It's a good save, Gav. Alcaraz, can you switch it? Good ball to Adam Armstrong. It's a great ball. Adam Armstrong, it's in! First goal of the season. Adam Armstrong scores it. Alcaraz with the assist. And we're off the mark. And that is halftime. It's 1-0. It's been a good performance so far. It hasn't been our best performance, but Adozi's taken. And this is what I mean. Adozi's not having a good game. He's getting subbed off. We have that much quality off the bench that I can afford just to sub people off if they're not having a good first half. Oh, oh, what the fuck. Bazunu, where was Bazunu going? Running out, he's running out of his fucking box, man. What is going on there? Alcaraz, small bone, back to Alcaraz. It's beautiful, it's Alcaraz, it's off the crossbar. It's at the edge for Reading. It's an, oh my God, bro. Really? Really? Ah, oh, they've not really created much. And then they score a screamer. Nice ball, Saramento. And to Dom Ballard, it's Dominic Ballard! It's in, off the bench! The youngster! Come on, Dominic! Get in! Saramento with the assist. Dominic Ballard scores against his former club on loan as well. And we win the opening day thanks to Dominic Ballard's goal. 2 1 win away at Ruben Sellers' is reading. I mean, the performance was okay. I mean, we were the better team, obviously, but um, there's a lot of games this season. And I, I went for it. I'm not accepting any draws because draws really fucked us last season. I'm not going for them. We're going for wins every single game.
Oh, we have to... No way we have to win a playoff, bro. No way we have to win a playoff. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. All this does is just add more games to the fixture list, man. We're already going to have a ridiculous amount. Unless we play a good team and just get knocked out. And then all my squad depth planning was just for nothing. All right, so we are drawing... Drum roll, who the fuck? Is that Basil? Ah, oh, fuck, Basil could be a fucking issue, man. Basil could be an issue. So we're drawing either SKA, I don't know who they are, or Basil. Oh, they're not Basil, it's not Basil. It's the Romanian club, um, and, or a Bulgarian club. So, okay, I'm pretty confident against those teams. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. But that, that probably means we have to qualify again afterwards as well. Oh, bro. All this is doing is adding more fixtures to an already fucked system. Ay, ay, ay. All right, we are signing Morale Silla. He's a cam because we don't really like. We have Alcaraz as our cam, and this guy's very good, as you can see from his stats. Like he's a very good player. So he's coming in five mil, cheap as chips. We got so much money. I was like, whatever. Um, do we need him desperately? No. But I think with again with the amount of games we have, um, Alcaraz is not going to be able to play cam every time we play cam. Stuart Armstrong wants to fuck off, so I'll just sell him. Um, and then we really don't, like, Turnbull can play Cam, but he's not that good there. Um, so I think this is a good signing, just, again, to give more options. All right, next game, and probably last game, against Blackburn. Rotating the squad, I'm just going to rotate the squad, just, I mean, I might as well. I've got so many players, might as well just keep rotating as I see fit. So, Saramento's coming in, Shea Charles is coming in, Ballard is going to give a start, and the new left back, Doig, Doig, I don't know how to say it, um, is coming in at left back, so, oh, and on, Sila is on the bench as well, so, let's just bloody get into it, Charles for Blackburn, they're into the box, there's a chance, and it's way, way, way over, Alcaraz on the set piece, Bella Kotchaps up there, hits the crossbar, nice, Walker Peters intercepts, Walker Peters, off he goes, Walker Peters, Saramento, Saramento, it's over, Nice ball, Alcaraz. I mean, Don Bella could be in there if you play him. It's Dominic Ballard! It's a hard in! Dominic, is he going to be insane this season? He's got two in about 60 minutes of game time. It's a beautiful ball from Alcaraz. A nice little dink from Ballard. Ella Kotchap has got a knock. See, this is why you've got to get ample fucking replacements. All right, we've got so many games. It's a light, it's a light injury, so hopefully it's nothing serious. Can we clear it? Can we clear it, please? Is he onside? Oh my god, off the post. Dodgy defending, boys. Dodgy defending. Well, you could say that Blackburn have been the better side, and I'm not happy about that. It's at home, we're typically far superior than the opposition, so I'm not happy with that half in the slightest. A dozy drives, a dozy drives, a dozy drives, and it's wide. Oh my god, what a ball. And they've skied it. We've not been good today. Not been good in the slightest. Crosses it deep. A dozy! It's off the bar. And that's full time, three points. Not the greatest performance. Uh, that first half was definitely dodgy. Ballard uh, wins the game really for us. Defense played well. The, the, the forwards were very poor. I mean, um, Sarabento was playing a 6.4. Adam Marshall was playing the same. Yeah, wasn't the greatest performance. Yeah, Bella Kotchap's only out for two days, so we're all good. And we got our Carabao Cup draw. We're playing Chelsea. Well, we didn't get the luck this time around with the draws. We're playing Chelsea if we beat Plymouth in the Cup. <laughs> Excellent. And that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, a lot of transfer stuff done, but really, I was hope like, we have so much money. I mean, we've got 78 mil. I just don't know who to spend it on, you know. Uh, this team will obviously get us most likely promoted, but there's just not, I don't think we have enough pull to really get players that would be worth 30 mil, that would be worth 40 mil. Like, we just can't pull them in. Maybe in, in uh, January we'll have better luck or throughout the season, maybe, but as it stands... Don't really have much of a chance with those sort of players. But at the end of the day, that's going to be the episode. Two from two to start off the season. Not the greatest performances, but wins are wins. Dom Ballard, two goals in two games. Could be interesting. Uh, but that's it. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you boys in the next video.